Hey there, my name is Hydrogen Heather, and here we are on Friday, day five of remote learning, and I just wanna begin with a huge congratulations. This has been a big change of life, a big week for all of us. Some of us are teachers, which means not only are we providing all the remote materials for our students in our classrooms, but then also at home with our own children, making sure that our own children are making use of the materials from their teachers. A lot of us are home from work, homeschooling for the first time, and look at this, we have all made it through. So let's begin today with just a fun experiment that you can set up probably in less than five minutes for your kiddos. We do the bee pollination game. As we jump in today's, into today's experiment, if you have missed any other experiments from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, you can find them in two places. Of course, you can go right back on our Facebook feed, but then also we've popped all of them up on YouTube. So here we go. For the pollination game, what you're going to need is just a little bit of salt, and I like to use a little bit of glitter as well so that I can simulate the pollen and the nectar. We're going to need some glue sticks, and each child is going to need their own balloon. I like to have one spot where I can put the glitter and salt, and then each child is going to need a flower. And also, we need a honeycomb. We need a beehive. These are right in the lesson plan, so you can find that in one of two places. Number one, just click right at the top of this post. I'm going to put the link right there as soon as we're done filming. But also, email this morning, there's a click directly to the lesson plan, and this is in the lesson plan. You can just print out one sheet of paper. So here we go. The first thing is we want to make a place in the hive where we're able to co collect and have the simulated pollen stick. So I'm going to give each one of my students a beehive, and then I'm going to ask them to take a glue stick, and all they're going to do is very quickly color that beehive with the glue stick just to make it sticky so that we can see if there is indeed any transfer and uh, that way it sticks to the hive so that we can see it and it doesn't fall off when we pick up the card. And as they are finishing up their glue, I'm going to make up my pollen and my nectar. This is super simple. First, I'm just going to dump a nice amount of salt. You can measure it, maybe a quarter cup or so. And then I'm also, thank you, Savannah, I'm also going to put a little bit of glitter in there. And I know this is two experiments in one week where I've used glitter. That's more glitter than I've probably used in the last 20 years in this house. But I can run the Roomba and I can make it through. So here we go. I'm just going to mix that up a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is we know that when bees are traveling from flower to flower, they have two primary jobs. Number one is their intent. They're collecting nectar to take back to the hive to turn into honey. But as they're doing that, the unintended consequence as far as what the bee is thinking about is their legs are collecting all of those sticky little pieces of pollen. And then as they go from flower to flower to flower, that pollen falls off, new pollen gets connected, and so they pollinate all of the flowers that they visit. So just for a simulation, I am going to, I'm gonna get my fingers in there and make sure I get some glitter and salt. Simulation, I'm going to put both pollen and nectar on each student's plate. And then here is where the fun part comes in. You might have noticed I didn't mention I've got some balloons here and I saved that for last. Each child is going to need a balloon for this game. And of course, that's what makes it a game because we want to make sure that this is super fun. So I'm gonna hand you the balloon. Don't do anything with it yet. Let me get all four blown up. And let me get your little brother first. <laughs> Looks like you're going to be a green buzzy bee. There you go. And okay, so here is what we are going to do. We are now going to be busy buzzy bees. And the way that we're going to simulate this pollen transfer is 
we're gonna create some static electricity and we all know that the best way to do that is to rub a balloon on your head. So busy bees, let's get a little bit of static electricity going. And remember, this is just a fun simulation. We need to find a way to make everything stick to our legs. Come on, really get in there, really get some serious static. Yeah, keep doing that, but listen, when I have you do the next step, be very quiet so that maybe on camera they can actually hear what happens. Keep going, keep going. Now take that part where you created that electricity, it very close to your pollen and nectar. I don't know if you could hear that on camera, but as Olivia, oh, and I just heard it here, and Savannah and Nevea waved over, we could hear So as their busy bees were visiting their flowers, they were collecting all kinds of pollen on their legs and then drinking the nectar to put into their sacs to take back to the hive. Now what I'd like all of you to do is I want you to visit someone else's flower and listen carefully. I want you to take that balloon and tap it and see if some of that pollen comes off. I can hear it. I'm not sure you can hear it on camera, but as soon as they started tapping, I heard another and that was when the pollen came off onto the next flower that they visited. So, all right, busy buzzy bees, get those back on your head and, and get a little bit more static that's electricity that's going. That's yeah, you might get some glitter in your head, but it's fine. So get some static electricity. Okay, now ready? Go back to the flower in front of you and collect some pollen and nectar. Again. I could totally hear it. <laughs> And now I want you to go to your hive. This time I want you to go to your hive and I want you to tap and see if any of that pollen and nectar lands on your hive. Oh, these look great. Okay, now I want you to pick up your hive and we can hold them up. And I don't know if you can see on camera, but very clearly I can see both pollen and nectar was transferred after these busy, buzzy bees visited a couple of flowers and then went back to the hive. So click onto the lesson plan. This is a super fun game, and the lesson plan has a lot of really good bee facts and real world relevance, relevance as to why this is so important. So enjoy today's lesson. We're gonna take tomorrow off as a family day with Saturday. Of course, Sunday's Sabbath, so we won't be doing any work. But Monday, we will be right back here with experiment of the day for Monday.